that as well. And I don't believe in the concept of formal marriage. Spoken about this before, and maybe I'll speak about it at some point again. Now, I had my first child with his mom. I was with her at the time. Me and her broke up. And then I had my second born, another lady. And then my third born I had with the first born's mother because we made up. We got back together and we had an, a child. All my children are planned, by the way. These are not oopsies and mistakes and, oh, I was drunk and, you know, we were having such a good time. I don't drink. I don't smoke. All my children are planned. Broke up with the mother of number one and number three. Um, I never really dated number two's mom. We had an agreement and an arrangement to conceive and to have a child. Um, our relationship at the time got strained and we had problems moving forward. And that's why I've kind of struggled with access to my, to my son. My fourth and my fifth. Y'all, it's like watching an accident happen right in front of you. You don't really want to watch, but you can't, you can't look away. Okay. Hi, ninjas. Oh, I'm here. And if it's your first time joining in, you're most definitely welcome. Please do subscribe and hit the bell so that you do not miss any other video. And of course, if you're a ninja, yo, what's up? Ninjas, let's get into this chain day. Today, we're going to be talking about Mr. Penwell. Okay. Um, now I must have been living under a rock because this literally is the first time that i'm hearing that mr penwell actually has six kids with four different baby mamas i, I don't I, like i feel like you know saying four, four 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 different baby mamas okay so i'm um, yeah Ciao. But anyway, this is not what I even wanted to talk about today. I'm just honestly shocked. The first clip that you guys watched <laughs> blew me right out of the water because he says that all his kids were planned. Um, and he claims the third baby mama, he never even dated her. So they just, I guess, had an agreement to say, hey, I'm going to come to you and we're going to have a baby together. Um, but I already have two people that I have got babies with. Um, why I can't go back to those and make that baby? be the same arrangement i do not know but obviously to each their own um but um yeah i feel like this honestly just explains some of the statements that i've seen and just not understood when penwell would be making them honestly so basically i got this from yase blog on twitter who said why can't god penwell marry at least one out of the four baby mamas of his six children um he in quote he said i never really dated number two's mom we had an agreement and arrangement to conceive and have a child so i don't know maybe I, I didn't hear properly i don't know if he said number two or that was number three i think it was that not baby number three i do not know but anyway um what mr yase blog quoted he said second baby mom so maybe it's baby number two and i just did not hear it um correctly now obviously when it comes to this um i would say that if ever i needed like you know family value advice it would definitely not be penwell that i would go to um because he clearly doesn't have a problem just having kids with women even though he's not married to them i don't think that that's somebody that values you know the familyhood but you know to eat that to each their own the topic that i actually want to talk about is the one where mr penwell has come out and he claims that white people white purple people um they did not still learn from us now obviously i think that this is a very touchy subject due to the fact that we all know that those white people stole land from our ancestors um which means that they also stole land from us now he obviously after there's a white man that came out and i'm gonna go ahead and just play the video that that white man said in response to what um you know the very black penwell had to say so i'm gonna go ahead and place it here and i'll be back with the rest of my commentary now when you look at that number one the land was lost lost good afternoon can somebody just help this young man uh i think he, he totally derailed or he was so impressed by the money of bob Herzog, uh that he's now spreading his own story only 14% of the land in South Africa was rightfully acquired by white people. Pe people were uh, forcefully removed. Uh, there's so many cases and so many uh, history about this. Now you come 
that land was not stolen. So if I forcefully remove you from the land, what am I doing? What am I doing? So can you stop with this nonsense? Uh, I watch a lot of your videos and with some of them I could agree, but this one you totally off <laughs> you totally over mark. Uh, if we never had the problem of forceful removal in South Africa, we wouldn't have been here today where we are. Jan van Riebeer came here. He was instructed to put up a trading post. Go read his diaries. So people moved from the north, black people, white people from the south. Remember, in those days, white people had the technology. So they come across, they settle in a certain area. Those kings, the land was so vast, there was no fences, whatever, but they could tell you this mountain there and that river, etc., etc., etc. When they ask the white people or try to ask them, why are you here? What are you in here, doing here? What was their reaction? Taking out guns. So, can you just stop this cuck? Because what you're saying now is totally, totally a lot of crap. Uh, I, I can't believe that you're saying this. And I mean, I'm not saying white people that staying on the land today did this. But their ancestors, their forefathers, I'm not blaming them. But I'm blaming the system that they're benefiting from. And they never reach out a hand to say, listen, can we turn this around where everybody has a share in the land? They're not willing to do this. So I don't know whether you're trying to impress anybody of your rich guys that funds you, uh, but this is a no-no. This is an absolute no-no. Now, after this, Penwell did now come back and he's now saying that, you know, they didn't steal the land from us. They conquered the land. So I think that like that white man explained a little bit more. Okay, I understand the white men more than I'm actually understanding you at this point because I do believe that, you know, the land was stolen, you know. Um, if you say that something was conquered, it, it looks like maybe there was an equal fair fight um, and then the winner won and then he conquered, obviously, you know. Um, and I don't think that that's how things actually happened. People were forcefully removed. A lot of people, our ancestors, a lot of them actually died in the process of the land being stolen and everything and i feel like um you know things some of the things that penuel says i do find them to be a bit dangerous and i do not agree with him when it comes to a lot of stuff by the way um doesn't mean that i've got any beef with him i think that we are both individuals that can obviously make up our own minds and have our own um how can i say this you know have our own minds obviously as i said so for me um when it came to this situation i don't know it just yeah it dropped me completely the wrong way like we do understand that um you know he actually came out i saw a tweet where he was claiming that he's no longer zulu i don't know like maybe he went to some river of jordan and he bathed in blood and then he stripped himself of the zuluness that he he should be like i don't get those stuff i do find that to be just um i don't know man it just wraps me off like you know the wrong way in a way um because this has nothing to do with like race or anything in my opinion i do personally feel like you cannot just come here and think good winner because of your opinions are your opinions you're gonna rewrite history um a lot of things happened there's a lot of ancestors that died there's a lot of people that you know they're still alive and they were alive at that time they've got past traumas which they traumatized their children who traumatized their children who traumatized us um because obviously these are traumas that have been passed through generations and i feel like when you know pen will say statements like this oh the land was not stolen you know there was this there was that it kind of honestly like just um for me 
makes light of a very serious situation so personally for me honestly i just know i do not agree with him when it comes to the whole land um was not stolen this and this the land was definitely stolen okay and no of course they were not gonna um steal land and run away with it but they stole land by going in and forcefully removing black people where they had put roots and then uh, take that for themselves that is also a form of stealing you cannot only just steal something that you can be able to move and so i think that that is also very very important um and again man like yo this whole six babies i feel like six children if you're someone that can afford that is absolutely not a problem um i love big families obviously as i said if you're somebody that can afford to be there you know physically spiritually financially for your kids i honestly am just like applaud honey have more if you want like the four baby mama part like yo at one point that someone actually sit down and be like yo maybe i do have a problem um you know is there something that is wrong with me like you cannot fight with the first baby mama fight with the second baby mama go to the third even go to the fourth and something is not wrong with you <laughs> i'm just saying okay like for me i like <laughs> and again i also just think what like as women why are women so dumb sometimes like guys i do understand which love makes us crazy but no man you you must you must love yourself <laughs> you must get to a point where you are like it is enough you know you cannot love a person to that extent a man that already has three baby mamas he comes and he wanna have a child with you that is even planned how do you even have a planned child with a man that did not marry you like i personally feel like honestly if i ever had a child and i was not married that that would definitely be an oopsie baby but you know obviously the child would still be loved but an oopsie baby nonetheless how do you plan a child with somebody that you have not um married and i know that we've got different beliefs and that is fine but for me i was just honestly shocked hey i was just honestly i'm um, shocked about this so obviously there's a lot of people that are claiming that penwell is whitewashed um i would see why they would actually say things like that but i do feel like sometimes maybe you should um you know just because you've got an opinion doesn't mean that you always have to put it out you know sometimes it's okay to just be like okay i'm gonna move on from this because like it's really bad when you are a black man that is trying to basically say that white people did not steal and then a white man comes and actually say yo let me educate you actually my kind did steal i feel like that's like humiliating a bit anyway go ahead and comment down below what you guys think from your mini chwazaru aka means fear for call i love you guys please do comment down below how many baby mamas or baby daddies do you have um and would you intentionally like plan to have a child with somebody that did not marry you i'm really curious anyway go ahead and comment down below i love you ninja stay blessed and i will see you guys in my next upload Mwah.